it doesn't concern them first apartment you must have an idea of what your budget is hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl again victoria aka like the Bada. and today i am here with another video now today i'll be taking you through the basic steps that um, you have to take when you want to secure an apartment in estonia i would also be going through the factors that you have to keep in mind when searching or when choosing an apartment and just overall how to make it easier for you to navigate the housing sector in Tallinn Estonia majorly okay let's get right into it before I hit the nail straight on the head I must say if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the family thank you what should you keep in mind when you are searching for an apartment there are a variety of factors that we should all keep in mind when searching but I will just pinpoint what I feel is most important number one on that list is your budget before you even start to search for an apartment, you must have an idea of what your budget is. So let's say, for example, your budget for a month for rent is 700 euros. Within that budget, you also have to factor in the fact that you are not paying rent alone. You would also have to pay for some household bills in the apartment that you decide to take. So in Estonia, you would pay bills like electricity bill. You are going to pay for water, that's hot water and cold water. Some apartments have to pay for sewage disposal. You pay for garbage disposal and also repairs for the apartment building. So these are like the basic things that would appear on your bills every month and you have to um, factor that in mind when budgeting for your apartment so let's say the maximum amount you have to spend on a month on living expenses as having a roof over your head basically is 700 euros then you'll be looking for an apartment in the range of 500 550 or 450 to 550 year about because you have to keep in mind that you have bills to pay that come along with the apartment and the bills vary so i cannot tell you how much your bills will be um the bills um in different side of Tallinn are different if you live in the city center the amount you pay in bills will be very different from if you live in the outskirts and also the size of the apartment that you rent if it's a really big apartment definitely you pay more than a smaller apartment and of course in the summer we pay much less than in the winter because in summer of course we use less hot water you don't have to pay for heating and some other expenses right. so apart from the rent what other things should you factor in mind some people are really particular about the area that they live in some people would not want to live in certain areas so if you are particular about the kind of area that you live in then you will have to do a little research into that keeping in mind like if you have children what schools are in the district what kind of facilities are in that area and things like that for me i want to know if there are grocery stores around because <laughs> i just like to take a trip to the grocery store every now and again so i have to have a grocery store near where i am staying another thing that i feel like is important if you do not have a car is to rent an apartment that is not too far from the nearest bus stop nearest useful bus stop <laughs> so if you don't have a car and nobody in your household has a car then you should keep in mind that uh, it would be in your favor to rent a place that is close to the bus stop so you can just quickly transport yourself from place a to place b and you don't have to walk kilometers and kilometers to the bus stop especially if you do not have a private car so yes keep in mind the near nearness why is that word so hard nearness to the bus stop and also the stores around you and when it comes to where you should live um estonia is relatively safe so i wouldn't say this area is bad or that area is bad for the city where i live in which is Tallinn. so uh, that is not a big factor that's not like number one that i look at if i am apartment hunt so yeah these are the facts that uh, i like to keep in mind before i even start to search and i think that you should also keep in mind when you start to search all right so now we have narrowed down um 
our search and we know what we actually want so where do we go to search so there are a couple of websites where people go to search for apartments and um, there is kv.ee there is city24 and some people have had success with facebook market for facebook market i have never used it before to rent a place in estonia and so i cannot categorically tell you if it's safe enough or not i recently heard that there was like some kind of fraud scam going on with renting apartments from facebook market i'll put the link in my description box um, so you guys can also read on what happened and um so as to not fall victim to that so i would not categorically tell you with my chest <laughs> <laughs> that facebook market is okay but i do have a few friends that um i personally personally know i've gone through facebook market and have linked up with their landlords and have been able to secure apartment with no issue at all so um i would not throw that option totally away but the top of my list is kv.ee and ct24 and i'll just quickly walk you through how to navigate this website all right, so this is the kv.ee website and here the first thing I do is choose the option to change the language to English. So click on the flag there and then you can see the other options available. You click on rent if you do want to rent a place and then you can click on the city that you're in which is Tallinn in this case. You also have the option to choose the amount of rooms that you want to live in. And the other option available is the option of price. So you can put in a price range and um, the search options will come up after you click the search button. And then you see all the options come out um, filtering the results with the options that you put in initially. The process is similar for ct24.ee. For this one, you also choose the language and then um, you choose also the price. The price is there. Here, a unique option is you can choose the size of the apartment um that you want to rent so if you are particular about that you can choose the size and also the price so everything is pretty much the same and all the options are brought out for you all right so now you have gone through the website and you have seen the apartment that you want for the price range that you want first things first i will tell you for each listing that catches your attention um please go through all the details there and um of course it might come as a shock to some of you but some landlords are particular about the kind of people they want in their rental rental apartment and so some of them will state it there in the description that they only want estonian speakers they only want russian speakers they only want this kind of people they only want those kind of people so before you waste your time contacting an agent contacting a landlord please go through the description uh, find out if you are a good fit if you fall into the category that the the landlord or the real estate agent wants so after you have gone through all that and you see like okay they are not against having you in their apartment then you can go ahead and contact the agent i would also advise that you don't put your eye on only one apartment you should give yourself choices like two or three because one sometimes the pictures that they upload on the website are pictures of the apartment but let's say like five years ago 10 years ago and the apartment might have gone through some wear and tear by the time you see it you'll be like wow oh my god wow uh, so it might not be like exactly what you see in the picture so keep in mind like you might get a little disappointed so give yourself at least two to three choices um for the apartment to avoid major disappointment and of course i have discussed this in one of my videos i'll link it here um you can give the agent a call that like you are showing up and they'll tell you to show up and then they will not show up <laughs> like 
all sorts of funny things really happen uh so just give yourself some leeway so don't narrow it down to one apartment and then you you're back to square one and then you start to search and search and search again give yourself an opportunity to have choices and after you have narrowed it down you have contacted the agent they have told you to come over i would say this is not so important but i feel it's important don't show up to view the apartment listing or to view the apartment i'm um, looking really shabby in truth the way that you dress shouldn't like uh, be a major factor in determining if they would rent the apartment to you or not like there are some things that shouldn't matter in 2020 but the fact is they matter i'm not saying that you have to dress in uh, michael jackson suit <laughs> to show up for the um to view the apartment but don't dress like something that the, the cat just dragged out from somewhere like look decent go and view the place with a positive attitude and also during the viewing the agent might ask you some questions that you might feel are like personal where do you where work do you are you uh, able to pay the rent they are not trying to pry into your life they just want to know if you can afford to rent the place and if you can afford to pay the bills so don't get too offended if they are asking you questions and then the agent might also ask you about your previous accommodation that if you have lived in estonia before they want to know why you are moving from where you are staying before let's just say for example you didn't have a good experience with your previous landlord something happened blah 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 it doesn't concern the agent that is not the time or the place to be bad mouthing your previous landlord it doesn't um augur well on you it doesn't show that you are a good person so to say it doesn't matter who was at fault who was not at fault do not badmouth your landlord to your new landlord or your new agent when they are still trying to figure you out to know if they will give you the place or not no it doesn't it doesn't concern them first and it's not the time it's not the place don't do it okay don't do it <laughs> simple questions require simple answers why are you moving i need a change i need a change of environment i need a change of pace i need a new place i'm tired of the environment like try to be positive in your answers so they will not start side eyeing you like hmm. okay so the agent is fine with you now you have discussed you can afford to pay for the rent the pictures of the apartment look like the apartment and then there's a contract on the table for you to sign what are the things that you would look at when you are physically in the apartment before you decide to sign the lease <laughs> i am not a structural engineer but i've had the opportunity of renting <laughs> numerous apartments so I'll tell you first of all take your phone go around all the rooms kitchen toilet rooms everywhere and make sure you have mobile phone reception <laughs> the last thing that you want to happen to you is for you to be stuck <laughs> in only one room in the house because that's the only room where you can get mobile reception i know of course there's wi-fi and everything but people should be able to call you regardless of if you are in your kitchen your toilet your room so try to go around and make sure that yes network <laughs> another thing that i feel is important so in estonia we have cold weather for eight to nine months of the year and so i would advise that you look at the windows of the, and the doors of the apartment there should be double glazed windows plastic windows i think i can put a picture somewhere so you guys can see what i am talking about because those double glazed windows help to keep the apartment warm another thing that most people like to check also is the sinks make sure the sinks are not clogged but the thing is there are quick fixes for clogged sinks and the agent might have just quickly fixed that before you come in clock sinks are not really a big deal they are easily solved so i wouldn't say that's a deal breaker for apartments but um for me most importantly mobile reception and a warm apartment and every other thing of course you would check if the electrical circuits are working check if your stove is working if there are appliances in the house make sure the work the washing machine maybe the dishwasher the gas cooker just make sure that everything is working fine all right now you have checked that everything is fine and everything is fine and now you want to go ahead and sign the contract the contract is not in english you don't know what is there you don't know what they wrote the agent is not translating anything for you 
Bring out your phone. Bring out your phone. <laughs> Take a picture of the contract. Take screenshot. Excuse yourself from that gathering and go and translate that contract. Make sure you understand every word that you are signing. Do not sign the contract until you understand what is there. Don't end up putting yourself in a tight corner. Okay, all right. And so after you have translated and you understand everything and you agree, <laughs> and you agree with the content of the contract then yes now you can go ahead and sign the contract and um pay off oh I, I forgot to mention for estonia you'll be required to pay for the first month that you will live in the apartment and also for the last month more or less like a deposit that you would have to pay and if you are going through a realtor or a real estate agent you would also have to pay the agency fee some agencies charge the full amount for one month rent some charge less depending on the situation so you have to keep in mind that expense also so you must add at least have your first and last month rent handy when searching for an apartment all right i hope these points i shared with you guys have been useful helpful and if you do have any further questions please write me in the comment section and leave your comments there and i should say this i am not a realtor i'm not a real estate agent and as much as i would love to help everybody i cannot rent an apartment for you so please don't send me a dm asking me to help you with that because i cannot what i can do is i can put this video out for you and you can watch it and get all the information that you need okay all right guys thank you so much for watching up to this point i appreciate each and every one of you and this is the end of the video i will see you all on my very next video do not forget to share this video with your friends acquaintances everybody that you know so that they will know what they should know <laughs> thank you so much for watching and bye